Composition of Sugarcane. Sugar Industry Knowledge and Technology. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Sugar Industry Knowledge and Technology. I am Abdul Bassett. Today we will discuss very interesting topics related sugar industry that is, sugar cane composition. Sugar cane exhibit wide varieties from area to area and region to region and its composition is dependent on cultivation practices, soil and climatic conditions. Major constituents of sugarcane are sucrose, reducing sugars, fiber and salts which affect intensely the economic aspect of cane sugar production. Today, the discussion is on main components of sugarcane and their function in manufacturing units. Sucrose. Sucrose, also known as cane sugar is a disaccharide belonging to carbohydrates family. It is composed of two monosaccharides namely glucose and fructose. Under normal condition of pH and temperature, sugar solutions are stable. Reducing sugars. Glucose and fructose are the important monosaccharides present in cane juice, termed as reducing sugars. These are in maximum strength in growing and immature portions of cane but less in the lower portions. The invert sugars shows negative specific rotation, false pole value, on account of higher levorotatory activity of fructose over the dextrorotatory power of glucose. The reducing sugar are sensitive to alkaline condition and decompose into coloring compounds under subjected conditions. They also plays an important role in determining the loss of sucrose in final molasses as reducing sugars reduce the solubility of sucrose in water. Inversion of sucrose. Under the action of acids and at high temperatures, the sucrose solution decompose into invert sugar i.e. glucose and fructose, the reaction commonly named as inversion. Hydrolysis of sucrose may happen due to the enzyme invertase at room temperature. Microbial action. Sugar solutions are susceptible to microbial actions which results in the formation of undesirable fermentation products at the expense of sugar. The conditions are maintained in process operations are essential based on preserving sucrose due to microbial actions. High molecular weight organic compound. Dextran, is the product of microbiological infection on damaged cells of the plant, mainly by the action of leuconostoc mesenteroids. Immature and over-matured cane. Immature cane is rich in reducing sugars which decreases cane reach maturity but once the maturity period is crossed they tend to increase. Inorganic and organic components of sugarcane. The main mineral matters of cane juice in terms of cations are potassium, calcium, magnesium and silica while anions are phosphates, chlorides and sulfates. Potassium salts constitute over 60% of total ash are mainly responsible for the retention of sucrose in final molasses. pH of cane juice is about 5.2 to 5.8 due to the presence of organic acids i.e. aconitic acid, citric acid, succinic acid, aspartic acid etc. The cane tops are rich in organic acids. Coloring matters. The naturally occurring coloring compound in cane juice are chlorophyll, carotene etc. Which are removed in clarification process. However, polyphenols contribute to color formation in process. The cane tops are rich in polyphenols. Fiber contents of sugarcane. The water and soluble portion of cane stock, commonly known as fiber. It contains 40% cellulose. 30% hemicellulose and 15 to 20% pectin. I hope you all enjoy the video. For any query please contact at following address. Thanks you.